I'd always been fond, and still am, of harmonica players. And uh, I don't know where it started from, possibly uh, my father, when he was in the Royal Navy, uh, he formed a harmonica band at one point, but that's a story way, way off. Anyhow, uh, 1979, I bought this album on Stiff Records, and... Uh, here it is. Here's that coffee. Lulu's. Lulu's reformer saved the whale. Nice black and white picture. Well, black and blue, actually. Uh, on the back of it, it's uh, do just what you want. Wait. Win or lose. High temperature. Mr. Bartender. Lucky seven. Hometown blues. Photo finish. Night Talk and Rider, produced by Paul Bass, uh, mixed at Eden and Britannia Row Studios. And uh, the band comprised of Lou Lewis, vocals, harmonica, Johnny Squirrel, bass, vocals, Buzz Barwell, drums, Rick Taylor, guitars and vocals. And... Uh, It's in a paper sleeve, and you can see the stiff label there. Uh, anyway, I liked his playing because it was very similar to Little Walter, um, who I've always liked. And subsequently, I've read that uh, other people, uh, journalists, that have said his style was very much akin to Little Walter. Uh, anyway, he seemed to be quite popular for a while, and then didn't hear much more from him so uh, I only ever bought this one album he did record other things he did record other other records later on and uh, he played with various various bands as well um, initially he was born in Hammersmith and when he was 13 years old the family moved to Canvey Island and uh, I'm not sure how far on it was but he became um, a close friend of Lee Brillou. Never sure how to pronounce Lee's surname anyway, but still, you know who he is. So they became great pals, and uh, he worked with him at various times. He also um, became a member of Eddie and the Hot Rods for a period of time as well. I saw Eddie and the Hot Rods in ooh, late 70s, I think, Birmingham Town Hall, and... Um, the support was Ultravox there with John Fox. Uh, but um, Lou Lewis wasn't in the lineup when I saw him anyway. You used to hear him on uh, shows uh, back in other artists on the radio, on Radio 1. And uh, things sort of fizzled out for me with my interest with Lou Lewis. So I didn't really know what he was doing, plus the fact... Um, I just got married that year, so things tended to uh, go by the way, music-wise, anyway. Uh, but it's a good album. If you play it today, it's still a good album. Um, as well as playing with Eddie and the Hot Rods, he did some work with the Stranglers and some other, some other artists as well. Oh, The Clash. He played with The Clash at one point. Uh, I don't know if that was on a recording or whether it was on, on some live shows. Then, uh, around 1987, things went a bit free fall for him. And uh, he was convicted um, of holding up, uh, doing arm robbery on a Royal Mail uh, truck. And he had a, an imitation pistol and he was sentenced to seven years. Uh, anyway, when, when he came out, um, it turned out later, oh, that's right, he'd escaped, he'd escaped, uh, someone had tried to catch him uh, on a bicycle, so I don't know if it was a Royal Mail bicycle anyway, but still a frightening experience for the people in the van, uh, I don't doubt, and other people. Anyway, when he came out of prison, it uh, turned out that he was uh, suffering from bipolar disorder 
and very other, various other mental health um, uh, things. So a bit sad that anyway. He was born in 1955 and he passed away in 2021. I did look up on eBay and there's, there's several CDs that uh, that is on, sort of, you know, which which hold his name as the main player on that. Uh, but they, they, they tend to be a bit expensive. So uh, I, I can't see me following you through with that anyway. I shall have to check up another way. Well, hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, if you have, click a like and uh, I'll carry on showing you odds and ends that I've got in my collection. Thanks now.